Toronto Super League back with a title sponsor, a new sponsor, First Utility Super League. Uh, the brand new structure as well, which has uh, attracted a lot of debate. Uh, let's speak to commercial boss uh, James Mercer. Uh, let's talk about the sponsor first. How key was that and how big a boost for the competition to have a title sponsor? It's very important for the, for the competition. Uh, it shows a real legacy building from the World Cup. Uh, as you know, we've been without a title sponsor for the last year, but we've been building a very strong platform of family sponsors, effectively, underneath that title sponsor. But to have the big sponsor was important for the game. How crucial was it, after not having a sponsor, to get one on board? And, and how big a blow was that year without a title sponsor for the competition? I think a lot of people in the industry were asking why there wasn't a title sponsor of the Super League. Um, but effectively, the important thing was, was to have sponsors below that title that were building for the future. And that's effectively what we did. We've got some wonderful brands involved in our sport. People like Foxy Bingo, Brute, uh, Iron Brew and Heinz last year. So building from that, we were able to get a, a title sponsor. Is it financially and commercially a, a good deal for you and for, we for wouldn't, Rugby League? We wouldn't have accepted if it wasn't a good deal. I think we need to be clear that we had other options and other offers even last year when we chose not to go with anything because you know, it would be very easy to do a deal at the wrong value or with the wrong partner, so you have to wait for the right one and we've got the right partnership, I can assure you. Uh, we're very excited and I first want to say thank you to the fans, the clubs and the players for the warm welcome we've received as the title sponsor. Uh, but we're very excited about this year and the coming three years with our three-year deal for the First Utility Super League. It's a fantastic uh, deal and, and great security for the, for the clubs and for the league itself. Absolutely. We wanted to support the growth that the clubs have seen and the Super League competition has seen through the years. We wanted to support the innovation that uh, the First Utility Super League is bringing to the table with the new relegation and promotion, the new playoff format, etc. So we're very excited because our brand is also very focused on bringing innovation to the retail energy sector. And how pleased were you to be able to announce that Sky Sports was going to continue to screen the, the sport? How, how pleased were you to announce that? be able to announce that before this season started? Well I think uh, I, I think that it's a, a massive shot in the arm for the sport, I think it's a, a vote of confidence. We all know that, 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 that Sky's association with the sport has, has revolutionised it. I can, I, I can remember before uh, Sky were involved how we had to really search hard to get our sport broadcast and, and it was on rare occasions and now you know rugby league supporters would not be without their weekly fix of, of high calibre Super League and, uh, and, and our discussions with Sky are, are being very positive and, and, and we're delighted that we've been able to extend our association. Fabulous for Sky, fabulous for the, for the game. Stability. Stability over the next eight years. The game knows where it's going. We know where we're going. Um, I'm told that Sky has bought in 100% of the restructuring plans. Um, they're very excited about it. They can see as we all can see. After 23 weeks, as I say again, 23 weeks, then the eight, then the four, then the two, then grand final. Well, I mean, we're going to have a grand final every week. That was one talking point amongst the fans. The other, of course, the restructuring of, uh, of Rugby League at the domestic game of Super League, uh, the breaking into eight, some may say great, some may say well that's a bit complicated. What was the, the real thinking behind making a move in that direction? Look, I think it's, uh, it's, it's very exciting, it brings back promotion relegation in, into the mix. Uh, every single game counts now, so uh, at every single level, so I think that also is something very attractive to, to the sponsors that are coming on board now. That's right, you know, and I think that was something that has been missing in prior years where at the bottom end of the table it didn't matter as much and I think some of the other competition in other sports shows you can create competition at both ends of the table. Some people against the division into eight, but I know you did a lot of work and talked to a lot of people before you came to the decision that you did. Well, there's democracy at work in our sport, you know, contrary to what you may think, it isn't just one person's decision anywhere in our organisation. The RFL is made up of all the member clubs, including the Super League clubs, and they have a view on things and the Super League clubs have a view on things as well and a number of alternatives were looked at. I think what everybody was unanimous about was the need for some change. I think that the restoration of a version of promotion relegation had been on the cards for a number of, a number of years. I think that the, the experiment with licensing, licensing had, had delivered some results, some positive, some not so positive. I think that overall the benefit of, uh, there, was a, uh, there was overall an appetite to return to promotion relegation and if you're going to do that you then have to make sense of how that would work between a full-time league and a part-time league. It's 
to be fairly ludicrous to suggest that the, the team that wins a part-time competition at two months' notice are then expected to upscale and, and join the, a competition of full-time athletes uh, without damaging both, frankly. You'd end up damaging both the Super League and the Championship. So we did a lot of work on it. We consulted with, uh, consulted with a lot of people. But change in whatever guise is, 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 is controversial and people will have firmly held views and there's nothing wrong with that. A final point on the current health of the game of the, the domestic sport of rugby league. Are we in a stronger position than we were when we spoke 12 months ago? And where do you see us being if we speak again in a year's time? I think we are undoubtedly in a stronger position than we were 12 months ago. And that's not to say that we're complacent in any way, shape or form. You know, at the end of the day, clubs are independently managed businesses and they make their own decisions. And the centre is no more responsibility for a failed financial club than it is responsible for the excellence that clubs like Leeds or Wigan are saying. So you know, at the end of the day, we can try and steer them and advise them, but they will make their own decisions. But I think that the new commercial arrangements and our new broadcasting arrangements should see the company set, the, the, the sport set fair for a, a number of years to come. I said today when Nigel Wood and I were on the stage I've never known it since 1996 when it was Super League, this big thing called Super League and we were switching from uh, winter to summer and it was going to be the you know the big the big deal and it was the big deal in 1996. There was so much interest all around the place. There's a list of things that are going to come on Sky with marketing initiatives we've got Mark Webber, we've had Bradley yeah. Wiggins last year, yeah. you know I've never known a season to be starting on such a high and the players and the coaches never let us down. So it will start on a high and it will just continue on. Well that's your lot for now. First Utility Super League starts this week. Thanks to all our guests for joining us today. Thanks for your company as well. And keep tuned to Super League TV throughout the season for plenty more.